Real quickly, before we jump into our procedural textures, I want to explain how our textures values are going to control our properties within each material. Let's take the simplest example I can think of, which is roughness. And you see how we use a number to indicate the amount of roughness we have. By default, it's set to zero, and that's gonna give us a perfectly smooth, glossy surface. If I type in the value 0.1, it's going to add roughness, and that's going to make my specular reflections scattered on the surface, giving us more of a matte finish. If I increase this from 0.1 to 0.5, we increase the amount of roughness. I can go all the way to 0.9, maybe even to all the way to one, and this is the roughest it can get. So the roughness value cannot exceed one, and it cannot go less than zero. Zero is completely glossy, or zero roughness, one is completely rough or zero glossy. Now, when it comes to using textures to control roughness, we use color, not number. So let's right click and grab a texture that's pretty simple. In this case, we're just going to use the color gradient. And when I preview it with C on the keyboard, I'm going to turn this whole gradient to black. So we're not fading between colors, we're just using black for this whole texture. This is a solid black texture. What do you think will happen if I plug this into our roughness? Nothing happens. Why is that? Well, if we look at the color black that we've chosen, you see the value slider? When we're on black, the percentage of value is set to zero. I want you to think of black as being equivalent to zero. The color black is represented by the value zero. And the opposite is true. The color white is represented by 100%, which is the same as the numerical value of one. So in this case, if I wanted to uh, have a completely rough surface, I would set both of my uh, values to 100% because this would produce a completely white texture here. So this is literally the same as going into our roughness and typing in the value one. So we use textures to control our values. And even though in the beginning, it might be confusing to think of a image like a texture as numerical values, that's exactly what we're doing. So if I were to take this texture and fade it from black to white, let's center this on the part, you see, uh, let's actually rotate it a little bit, make it easier, something like this. So we have black on the left, we have white on the right. Let's even make this a little bit smaller. So we have a fade from black to white. Remember, black is zero, white is one. We're fading from zero to one. If we plug this into roughness, what do you think is gonna happen? Sure enough, we fade from zero roughness to a roughness value of one, and then a gradient in between. So once again, before getting into our procedural textures, you must get thinking in terms of value. Color value, meaning how bright a color is, we can always look in our HSV color values. This number is always gonna be the number that is going to represent the numerical value that we're controlling in our material property. So hopefully that makes sense. I just thought that was an incredibly important concept to come to terms with before we proceed and get into all of the really cool procedural textures to Keyshot offers.